Today, I'm going to tell you some silly stories from my life. So, in the fifth grade, there was this teacher that assigned us a project to write a song. That was at least five, seven um, minutes long, which I, I don't understand what song is that long. But, that's what they did. And then, like, a week later, it was due, and this really popular girl from our class, decided to go first because she was a really big hockey bitch and she wrote an opera song. She went up there we're like, oh, this girl's really pretty. She's very popular. We all assume that her song's going to be like magnificent. I'm like, oh my god, she's going to blow us away like she always did or, you know, whatever. Because she just had that very big confidence and whatnot. So she gets up there and she's like, we're gonna start her opera song, and then when she starts, her voice is cracking. She sounds very scary. <laughs> Me and my friend Kiki are like sitting next to each other. We're like trying not to laugh. I'm the kind of person that will start laughing if they, if my like friend starts laughing. So my friend burst out laughing. <laughs> the girl's like, ah, ha, ha, trying to sing opera. So she burst out laughing because she doesn't know the people, honestly. But she's hilarious, Kiki. So she starts laughing, and then I can't hold it anymore. When someone starts laughing, I just like the reflex is like, I must start laughing because I'm trying to hold it in, and now I can't. So I start laughing, and the teacher looks at us very pissed off and kicks us out of the classroom. We're still laughing. We don't care. And like, we're outside of the classroom door, and then everybody inside the classroom is like, they're still laughing, and then, like, this girl, the popular girl, I'm not gonna give her name, her name, where she finds this, ee! So, she, like, was, like, singing, she's, like, <laughs> like, over us laughing, and we're just, like, <laughs> And they could see us in the little classroom window, you know, the little bulletproof window in the door. So, yeah, that was kind of fucking hilarious. in sixth grade, the, the school decided to make a slideshow of all the students in sixth grade, like working hard and doing projects and kind of those cool things. When they make it, when, when they're like stalking us in our classrooms with their creepy paparazzi cameras and like trying to catch us doing weird things or some shit, because if they can make it like that, they don't warn you they're going to take a picture. They just do. <laughs> they just do. And it caught me working on a project, scratching my armpits. I don't know. I, I didn't know that they were taking a picture of me. And I was just like, what? 12? So, you know. And they're like behind me with a camera. So then when the slash was all done and stuff, and all the students are in the auditorium, they show us the slideshow on a very big um, projector and it's projected onto like a giant white screen where it's huge for everyone to see and then they see me from the back scratching my armpits and I'm like oh my god I'm like you know I hope no one realize that's me so then I don't know I don't know if you'll recognize it with me but that was like holy shit moment so then after that um, this other story I have is with the, a waiter from, I think, Applebee's or something. Go there. I love Applebee's. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so, I was at Applebee's or somewhere, and we are ordering our food. My mom's a very talkative person, so she starts up a conversation with the guy waiter, and then he started talking about, for some reason, that he used to have another DJ job. And he's like, oh yeah, my friends there, they call me Looney, Looney Man. My real name is John. And I'm thinking, me and my sisters look at each other and we're trying to laugh. I think it's just a, you had to be there kind of situation, but you know, we're just like trying to laugh, like, why is this guy really called Looney, Looney Ben, and my real name is John? Like, like, what does Looney and Looney Ben have to do with John? Like, it's so random. So that was really random to us. And then, okay, this other story, which is like, I think the funniest one or something, is. When my sister missed the bus, Sorry, yeah. when my sister missed the bus, she, <coughs> the 
Hello bus like zoomed up. She's like, no way. And then a few minutes later, actually like, damn. A freaking mini bus pulls up next to her, and a Jamaican guy opens the door. This is a true story, by the way. This really is. So he opens the door, and he's like, "You want to catch the bus?" And she's like, confused for a second, but she gets on the bus. And then he chases down the bus with his mini, what is it called, mini bus? It's a school bus too, like why the fuck is a school bus letting a random person on? Like, like there's no children obviously, but you know, like what the fuck. So, this Jamaican man with the mini school bus is dramatically chasing the 20 bus to the next bus stop. And then she don't off the bus and goes on the public bus and gives the bus driver the stink eye. I don't know what kind of random Jamaican guy is like driving school buses, but yeah, that was a really random story. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my silly stories, and there's probably a lot more, but I couldn't think of any of these that were as silly. But, you know, if you want to see other videos made and whatnot, subscribe and, you know, comment or something to see other videos. Bye!